Hello, so today I am here to film my review of Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 5, and I will insert the name of the episode here because I have forgotten it. Okay, so I'm going to do a top 5 moments, and at number 5, Jon Snow is making an alliance with the Wildlings. I have been waiting this for this to happen for a very long time because I feel like the White Walkers are a common enemy and they could not possibly defeat them separated and I think it's really great that what Jon Snow is trying to do it's just too bad that Stannis killed Mance Reader because he was the one person that could have achieved this so let's hope Jon Snow and that ginger dude have the power. Um, Stannis has left the wall and is hoping she takes the north and I think he's going to succeed. I think he's definitely one of the more clever of, um, of the kings, the potential kings and um, I think Blackwater Bay, was it called, was a fluke that he didn't win because they had wildfire. It was never going to end well. But yes, I think that it's great that Stannis sees the White Walkers as a problem and he's definitely going to see them as a threat to Winterfell when he takes it. And great to see this. I think he's going to come back and help because everyone else has been ignoring it and it's clearly a threat, not just to the people at the wall, but to the entire kingdom. At number two, we have Sansa and Theon reunited. A weird part of me is shipping them. And I can't really explain it. I suppose Sansa, as we know from her marriage with Tyrion, isn't really in the mood for sexy times. And we know that Theon doesn't really have the materials, shall we say, to do that. I still think Alfie Allen is the most talented actor on A Game of Thrones. Uh, it was weird to see Sansa and Theon at the same time because after Theon became Reek, he seemed so separated from everything else. It seemed like a whole storyline itself. And it's so weird when things cross paths like this, because we imagine them as like TV shows on their own, each like character's story. At number three, do I hear wedding bells? Uh, sounds like instead of burning that guy with her dragons, she's going to bloody marry him. Um, why ever not? Personally, I've never trusted him, but I am definitely interested to see where this marriage goes. Like, I wonder what Darianna Harris has to say about this betrothal. Ah, uh, but this is definitely fascinating, and it's so interesting to see someone like Daenerys, who really hasn't fought much further than just freeing everyone, like, figure out what she's going to do with this country she is queen of because you can't have full freedom like people have to work people have to earn money people have to have respect and all that otherwise it's just gonna be anarchy and of okay. number two um Jorah and Tyrion fighting off the stone men as they call them I believe this is the effect Greenscale has if it goes uncured, so can you imagine Shireen, Stannis' daughter, looking like that? It's actually kind of scary, because she is the most adorable child in Westeros, and I would hate to see her like that. So for a split second, when Tyrion fell into the water, I feared for his life, but then I was like, hang on, there are only two reasons why you would kill off a character. One, they have no storyline. Two, their death would open up a new storyline. Tyrion's would achieve nothing. Grayscale would be interesting because he's already like a dwarf and he already had that horrible scar from the battle at Blackwater Bay and um yeah it'd be interesting if he did get Grayscale and I think it's very selfish of Jorah to just keep it there with in an enclosed space with Tyrion. So Grey Worm and Missandei. Uh, I said in my last video that none of my Game of Thrones ships ever become canon and then this goes and bloody happens. It's like they've been answering my prayers. The Game of Thrones gods. The Seven. Or the Lord of Light. Or the Old Gods. And... Anyway, they have been answering my prayer and Missandei and Grey Worm snogged. Oh, it was adorable though. I think the fact that he refers to her in the first per th third person instead of the second just makes it even more special. And um, it was just so magical to see someone that I have, a pair that I've been shipping for so long, actually, you know, have a result. So that is all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.